Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global in Las Vegas ahead of Fury and Wilder 2. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Otto Wallin, uh, who obviously everyone will remember uh, more recently for his fight with Tyson Fury. First of all, Otto, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's nice to be back out here in Vegas. We had good memories from last time, so it's nice to be here. Absolutely. Now, you just reminded me that we've shared a car journey together, which I completely forgot about when I think, yeah, me, you, Eddie Hearn, I think there was another sparring yeah, partner Lenroy as well. Thomas. Lenroy Thomas was in the car. You know, that was uh, before Joshua fought Charles Martin. I was there doing some sparring. Me, Lenroy, you know, were in Joshua's camp. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know where we were going. We were going somewhere. We were going somewhere with Mr. Yeah. Hearn and we don't remember where. But, yeah, that was uh, a few years ago now. But, uh, yeah, let's just kind of, obviously, people, you being around the fight week or so, people are going to undoubtedly talk to you about, you know, your fight with him and... Um, on paper, we didn't know what to expect before you and Tyson fought, but you gave a good account of yourself, and obviously the cut kind of changed the fight. Uh, but how, looking back on it now, do you reflect on that performance against Tyson? Uh, you know, it was a good performance. I would have liked to win the fight. That's why I was here. And, um, you know, I think, that, I think that Fury's team and him, they wanted to get a few rounds, you know, knock me out, but I wasn't going to let that happen. And... It was a good fight and I did a lot of good things, but there's also a lot of room for improvement. So trying to work on those things and just come back better and and uh, be ready to beat these guys. Because people, not to you, but from the outside world, gave you kind of the credit in that fight. Because like you said, from the outside perspective, we, we may have thought that as well. A few rounds and, and maybe Fury would have got you out there, but you kind of proved to be stubborn and you stuck in there. And like I said, I think you, uh, deservedly got the credit for that yeah and uh, you know that's I, I put in a lot of work over the years so he has to go in there on my biggest fight ever to just lay down that's not gonna happen and I'm uh, you know I wanted to win the fight and I'm gonna come back stronger I think I think that I, I'm probably gonna grow a lot from that from that experience you know sharing the ring with Tyson for 12 rounds and it's gonna it's gonna be a great experience for me and you know I think I'll come back better how would you describe being in a fight with Tyson Fury, as, as kind of open as that question is, how would you kind of, um, because from the outside, again, he seems like someone that, very unpredictable, very unorthodox at times, and at times he doesn't know what he's going to do himself. So, <laughs> but from your perspective of someone who has shared that many rounds with him, how would you explain that being in an actual fight with Tyson Fury? Yeah, you said it best. He doesn't know what he's going to do next himself. So, you know, people, I think some guys, they give him too much respect. You know, if you're fighting Tyson Fury, he's a big guy. He wants to box, you know, be awkward. So you got to take that away and make it a fight. You know, uh, he's a big guy. He moves his head well. He's got good defense. So why not hit the body? Because he's, he's, he's got a big body. So why not hit it? Tyson Fury's had uh, 20 stoppage wins in, in, in his career. Deontay Wilder called him pillow-fisted today and was kind of suggesting that he doesn't have the punch power, uh, despite Tyson Fury saying that he's going to knock Wilder out inside two rounds. From a punch power perspective, how would you assess that from Fury? You know, Fury is a big guy. He says that he's going to come in at 270 pounds. So if he hits you the right place, you can get knocked out. And I believe that he hurt Wilder a few times in that first fight. So I definitely think he has the ability to knock Wilder out. But he can't go in there just looking for the knockout. He's got to be ready at all times and not be reckless. Because Wilder has a, a very big punch and, you know, one time and it's over. Yeah, and, and that proved nearly to be the case, obviously, in the first fight where Fury seemed to be kind of, uh, not just getting through the rounds, but kind of winning the majority of the rounds. But as Wilder said today as well, he, his opponents need to be switched on for 36, seconds, uh, 36 minutes, 12 rounds. But for him, two seconds can make all the difference. Yeah, uh, Wilder, you know, he has that big punch. But at the same time, I think that Fury has more tools. He, I think he's a better fighter. He's, he's more all round than what Wilder is. He has a big punch. Wilder, he has a good jab that he showed with Steve Earn, but we haven't seen a lot of that since. But I honestly think that somebody can come in there and run Wilder over. And we see if, if Tyson can do that. I'm not sure, but I think, I think there's going to be a time when, when uh, somebody does that. Now, I know as you kind of go through your career, you don't just want to be known as the guy that went those rounds with, with Tyson. You obviously carving your own career, good experience for you that fight, but you 
face uh, Lucas Brown at the end of next month here in Las Vegas. So, yeah, that's a big fight for you. Yeah, that's a big fight, uh, a big name. You know, if I, if I beat Lucas Brown, that's probably going to be my best win so far. So it's a good fight for me. It comes at the right time. I feel that Lucas Brown is on his way out and I'm on my way out, my way up. I just had my breakout fight and I got a lot of energy. You know, I got youth on my side. He's a big puncher, so I got to be ready and not be reckless. So, you know, just go in there, be smart and handle business and hopefully take him out. That's at the theatre at the Park MGM on the 28th of March. Live on Showtime. Live on Showtime. That's the key one. That's the key one. Also. Yeah. So here's a question for you. For someone who's been in the ring with Fury that has sparred numerous rounds with Anthony Joshua, if you can compare those two situations to say who you think would win that fight, you might want to be careful here, but if you were going to put that out, out Otto. Thank, thank you for the warning. <laughs> no, but I think that both are very good. You know, they are different, they have different skills, different, uh, different strengths, dif different weaknesses. It's, it would be a, a firefight, I think. You know, Josh, a big power, a big puncher, and Fury, a good boxer. So, two big guys, anything can happen, but it's hard to pick a winner. I think that would be a good fight. It's a fight that obviously us UK fans at some point do want to see, so hopefully we get to see that. I need a prediction for you for this weekend. Do you, are you favouring one or the other? You know, with Wilder, anything can happen, and it can go. Yeah, you know, he just take, takes one punch and it's over. So it's always going to be dangerous with Wilder. But I think that Fury has more skills, like I said, and I think that he is going to be able to adapt better in the rematch. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's about three days away, so um, yeah, we can't wait. And I'm sure you'll be an interested spectator watching this as well ahead of your fight on the 28th of March. Have you got anything else you'd like to add, Otto? I would like to add that I want to say thank you to my UK fans. There's a lot of guys getting a hold of me on social media and stuff. And uh, I'm very happy about that. I get a lot of support from out there. And you have, you have very good uh, boxing culture, so I like that. Thank you, guys. Sorry, Otto, I've actually got one more question. Obviously, the much publicised cut from in, that happened to Fury uh, in your fight, do you think that, obviously, this is something that could reopen in the Wilder fight and something that Wilder will specifically target early on? Yes, of course it can, it can open if, if it gets hit in the right place. But I think if Wilder comes out there, he has trying to go for opening the cut and, and uh, you know, hit him, it's going to play in favour of Fury because, you know, going for the head... Only going for the head against Fury is just good for him because he, he moves his head well and he's got good defense. So Wilder's got to be smarter than that to just go after the cut. Mr. Wallin, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And like I said, wish you the best of luck uh, here in Las Vegas uh, next month. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to catch up with you soon. Yeah, OK, thank you very much.